Hello mga palanga! So for today's video, I am going to teach you some tips and tricks on how to pass the licensure examination. Again, this is Engineer Chris Chomari and welcome to my channel! Board exam. Ito yung hinihintay nating lahat. Ito yung last step para maging civil engineer ka talaga. Hindi talaga joke yung board exam. Dito mo matcha challenge yung self mo. Minsan nakakwestiyon mo pa yung self mo. Minsan umiiyak ka lang na parang hindi mo alam ano yung rason. <laughs> Baliw lang. <laughs> hindi pero totoo talaga. Like minsan ang hirap talaga. Pero Alam niyo ba, worth it naman yung hirap dito kasi once na napasan niyo, iba talaga yung happiness na ma-experience niyo. Future civil engineers, let's start. The number one is manage your time wisely. In a short span of five months, you have five years worth of lessons to prepare. The more topics you review, the greater chance you have of passing. By the way, hindi face-to-face -face yung review namin. Online siya, so we can do whatever we want. We can just review all day or like, minsan na nanonood din kami ng mga videos. Then, afternoon, nagre-review kami. Like, nag answer So, ayun. Yung review schedule ko before is 8 a.m. to 12 noon. Then, lunch namin. After lunch, natutulog talaga kami ng mga kasama ko. Minsan, nagsiselfone-selfone lang. Ganun. Nagsistart ulit kami mag-review 1pm to 6pm. Then, dinner na naman. Then, re-review ulit kami 7pm to 10pm. It depends on you if ano yung nakasanayan mo. But make sure to create a study schedule that will also suit your review center's schedule. If you review, you can also use Pomodoro technique. Pero hindi ko siya ginamit kasi like hindi ko siya feel. And mas productive ako pag tuloy-tuloy. Then may break, then aral ulit. Super limited lang talaga yung time mo sa review, sa board exam. In a short span of 5 months, you have 5 years worth of lessons to prepare sa board exam. So, wag mo talagang i-waste yung time. Wag mo talagang, ay, mamaya na lang mag mamaya na lang, or like bukas na lang. Huwag kang ganun. As in, kailangan mong maging super disciplined sa time na to. Kasi, 5 months lang. Five months lang talaga. Sayang kasi, sayang yung gastos, yung time. So, number two, take time to rest and sleep. Sis, hindi ka robot. So, yun, kailangan mo rin mag-relax, kailangan mo rin mag-chill. Pero sa tamang oras, ha? like, sleep and rest should never be sacrificed. If feeling mo na de-drain ka, matulog ka, if feeling mo na overwork yung utak mo at hindi na absorb ng brain cells mo yung lessons, matulog ka. Kailangan mo ring relax. Tapos if feeling ko, if super pagod talaga ng katawan ko, kahit upo lang na upo yung ginagawa ko whole day sa pag-review, natutulog talaga ako. If feeling ko na super pagod talaga. Pero maximum of 15 minutes lang yung itulog mo. Huwag kang abusado, sis. Marami ka pang i-review. Marami ka pang i-review. Ginagawa ko lang siya pag break time. Maximum of 15 minutes lang yung break time na naset ko para sa sarili ko. But you can do whatever you like sa break time mo. You can set at least 15 minutes or if trip mo mga 20 or 30, pero sa akin, 15 minutes lang. So, para marami yung time ko mag-aral pa. Minsan, gumagawa ako ng content for Instagram sa break time. Minsan, natutulog ako. Pero usually talaga, natutulog talaga ako. Pero minsan na rin, nagsiselfone ako just to reward myself. You have to aim for 7 to 8 hours sleep every day. 
wag mong i-sacrifice yung 7 to 8 hours sleep mo just to accommodate your other activities with lower values like watching TV or checking your social media accounts. You can do it on your breaks, breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Basta hindi lang siya makadistract sa study hours mo and sa sleeping hours mo. Then every Sunday, reward yourself. Just take a rest, breathe, meditate, go to church, and you can sleep the whole day too. At yan rin yung time na maka-watch ka ng movies, play ML, and kahit ano activities na meron ka pa. Pero don't forget to go to church every Sunday. Number three, prioritize your board exam. Ito talaga yung problema ko before. Hindi <laughs> ko talaga ma-prioritize ng buong-buo yung board exam. Kasi may, meron pa akong sideline na sa Instagram, nagko-collab pa ako nun. Tapos, nag-aaral pa ako. So, hindi ko siya ma-prioritize ng buong-buo. Pero minsan lang naman ako nagko-collab sa Instagram nung time na nag-review ako. Nahati talaga yung attention ko na dapat study ko lang. Ito talaga yung mali ko. Kahit it takes me less than 30 minutes to finish the contents for the brands, sana itinulog ko na lang siya. Sana inaral ko na lang. At least marami pa akong na-cover ng mga lessons. Kabuti talaga na yung 100% ng attention mo, ibuhos mo talaga sa pag-review mo sa board exam. Mas mabuti na lang na hindi ka mag-regret, hindi ka magsabi na, ah, sana ganito, sana ganyan. Don't make the same mistake I did. You can't serve two masters at the same time. Focus on your current goal. Channel all your energy into aiming for the top 10. Stop taking on side projects. The money can be earned was not worth the cut in time and the added headaches. Focus on your current goal that will make your succeeding goals easier to achieve. Rather than dividing your time and effort among many demanding goals being pursued simultaneously. Mag-focus lang muna kayo sa board exam. Huwag muna kayo mag-sideline. Tandaan nyo, marami tayong sinosolve na problem sa board exam. Huwag nyo nang dagdagan yung problema natin. Let's go to number four, delayed gratification. Remember that the reward of the future is greater than the pain of the present. To delay gratification is to resist small yet immediate reward today in order to receive a larger and more enduring reward later. If ever makafeel ka ng temptation or pain sa pag-review mo today, always remember the lesson of delayed gratification. There is a larger reward waiting for you at the end of this journey, which is your license. Magiging engineer ikaw. So when it comes to dealing with destruction, number one is to eliminate the source of destruction. Like turning off your internet connection, or putting your phone away from you. Yung ginagawa ko pa is na-silent ko yung phone ko para hindi ko marinig yung notification kahit malayo yung phone. And some of my friends uninstall their apps on their mobile devices. Number two is position yourself. Position yourself away from destruction. Like mag-aral ka sa lugar kung saan walang ingay at hindi ka, makaka- hindi ka madidistract ng ibang tao. So let's go to number five. Do not compare yourself with other students. Wag mong ikumpara yung sarili mo sa ibang nagre-review. Like, hala si ganito, marami nang na-cover na topic, ako maliit pa lang. Like, hala si ganyan, um, marami nang formula na na-memorize, ako maliit pa lang. The result, you tend to rush for the sake na makahabol ka lang sa kanila. Then, you forgot to fully understand the principle of every topic na minadali mo. Always remember that you have your own pace. Ang importante dito is maintindihan mo na mabuti yung topic sa HGE, sa SEC, and sa MSTE. Yung kalaban mo dito is hindi yung ibang tao, hindi yung ibang students. Yung kalaban mo dito is yung sarili mo. So, eight kami sa apartment. Tatlong girls and limang boys. And I never compared myself sa kanila kasi for sure matatakot lang ako. Madi-disappoint lang ako sa self ko. And madi-discourage lang ako. What I did is I compared my previous course 
sa present scores ko. That, that made me happy because makita ko talaga na may improvement sa self ko. Like, congratulations self, hindi ka bobo. So let's go to number six. Be with people who will bring out the best in you. Associate yourself with people who will push you up, not those who will pull you down. Wag na wag kang sumama sa mga tao na magagalit dahil mabilis ka mag-catch up ng lessons or dahil advanced ka or dahil fast learner ka who will darken the mood of others dahil hindi sila makakatch up. Never take advantage sa matatalino niyong group members. If nakikita niyo silang nag-aaral, do not disturb them. If may itatanong ka sa kanila, hintayin mo sa vacant time nila at doon ka magtanong. Huwag mo silang disturbuhin kasi they also want to top the board exam. Isipin mo na they are also preparing for the board exam. If ever na may face-to-face -face review na, for sure yung iba pupunta yan sa ibang lugar para mag-review sa magandang review center. Huwag na huwag kayong sumama sa mga members na mahilig gumala. Pwede naman kayong gumala pag Sunday since rest day yan. Pero huwag kayong gumala pag Monday to Saturday since mag-aaral kayo sa time na yan. The people you surround yourself has an impact in your board preparation and in your life. Be with people who brings out the best in you. Number 7. Study Smart The first thing you need to do is understand the lessons that were discussed in the class and understand the principle. You need to apply these ideas on your own and practice solving problems every day. The goal here is to understand the principle of every topic, not memorize the solution. By the way, yung ginagamit kong review book is yung CE reference ni Gilisanya. Link on the description box. Memory is a three-stage process. Number one, encode. Pay attention to the information you want to store. Understand the principle and the formula. Number two, store. Repeatedly engage to the information you want to retrieve by practicing solving every day and recalling the formulas. Three, recall. If you have done a good job in encoding and storing, recalling is not a problem. Sometimes, poor memory is due to poor encoding, not given attention, or poor storing, not practicing or rehearsing. When it comes to memorizing formulas sa SAC, MSTE, HGE, yung ginawa namin is nilagay namin lahat ng formulas sa Manila paper, then we stick it in the wall para makita namin every day. Then, yung second na ginawa namin is nilagay namin siya sa index card. Then, every night, I rehearse the formulas. If the materials are not rehearsed while they are still in your short-term memory, they will be forgotten. If you actively and repeatedly engage the information, it will make the memory stronger. Number eight, do not forget God. If ever you feel down, if feeling mo you're not good enough, just pray. Before you start reviewing, pray. Before you end, pray. Tandaan mo, maraming test na kay, marami kang ma-experience sa board exam. Especially sa pagre-review. Yung kasama mo talaga dito is si God. Do not give up. Kasama mo si God. Hindi ka nag-iisa sa problema na to. Hindi ka nag-iisa sa challenge na to. Pag start ng review at nahihirapan ka, and yung una mong hinihinga ng tulong is si God. And once na-receive na natin yung blessing and yung gift ni God, which is yung license, huwag natin siyang kalimutan. And by the way, I also have to share some um, love advice, especially sa mga viewers natin dito na may mga jowa. One time, may nag-question sa akin na how can I balance my love life chart? My love life and sa pag-review. So first, kailangan mo ng jowa. 
yung first is kailangan mo talaga ng understanding na jowa. Like, nung sa time ko, nung nagre-review ako, hindi kami masyadong nag-chat-chat. Like, good morning, good night, ganun lang. <laughs> Para makafocus ako. Tapos, hindi kami masyadong, hindi kami nag-aaway. Ganun. <laughs> hindi naman kami nag-aaway talaga. Pero, like, ganun. Kasi if mag-chat-chat pa, tapos, like, parang yung usual convo, nadidistract ka talaga. Like, hindi ka makakaaral, hindi ka makapag-aaral ng mabuti. So, ayun. Thank you so much, Jowa, for cooperating. Sure. Hindi kasi meron na notice ko yung sa iba. Maraming nagbe-break dahil walang time. Dahil, like, hindi ko alam. Pero, like, kailangan talaga super understanding ng partner nyo. Kailangan din nilang makita yung video na to para maging aware din sila sa situation na if you face mo this board exam. So yun, need mong maging understanding dahil for sure sa time na to, hindi ka talaga makakachat na mabuti. Pero makakachat din kayo after board. Anong kabatisin mo lang? Ilang months lang? So ayun. Tapos sa jowa, need niyang maging support system. If ever na may feel niya na down ka, kailangan talaga todo support siya sa dream mo. Gora lang tayo mga future engineer. Soon magiging engineer na rin kayo. Remember, the strongest people you meet in life have suffered great pains and sorrow. You have to realize that you are capable of surviving great pains and sorrow. You became the strongest version when you conquer your lowest. If you feel like you're not good enough or if you feel weak and you feel like Hala, nag-aaral naman ako ng mabuti. Pa bakit parang kulang? Like, ginagawa ko naman yung best ko. Pero bakit parang hindi siya enough? Bakit parang ganun? Whenever you feel weak or helpless, compare your current pain to when you were at your lowest point. Putting things into perspective makes you stronger mentally. But realize mo na lang na ang experience mo ngayon is trivial compared to the sorrow you survived in the past. Give your best not just for yourself, but for your parents who give their best at raising you. Fight lang engineer, kakayanin mo yan. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you can also follow me in my social media accounts. And if you have any suggestions na magagawa natin ng content regarding sa civil engineering students' life or like sa regarding sa civil engineering na topic, you can comment it down below. Thank you.